All right, buckle up, because this deep dive is going to take us for a spin through Tesla's robo-taxi dreams. Ooh, I like that. Robo taxi dream. You've got a whole stack of analyst reports of Barclays, Deutsche Bank, Morgan Stanley, plus uh, a pretty interesting Bloomberg piece about Uber and Waymo, you know, to add to the mix. A lot to unpack there. For sure. So let's get right to it. Are Tesla's autonomous vehicle ambitions going to steer them to a gold mine, or is this whole thing going to skid out? Well, their upcoming We Robot event is really what has everyone talking, you know? analysts are buzzing about it. Yeah, it's like the biggest show in tech, right? Everyone's waiting to see if they'll finally, you know, roll out this purpose-built robo-taxi, the cyber cab. Right, and Deutsche Bank seems to think this event is kind of a do-or-die situation for Tesla. Oh, wow. High stakes. Yeah, they're saying Tesla needs a big win here. They need to really wow everyone. Exactly. Because, you know, their whole growth strategy relies on being more than just a car company now. Right, right. right. Shifting away from actually selling cars to like this AI driven business model, mm. investors need to see it to believe it. You know what I mean? It's a gamble. They need some proof. Yeah. And not everyone sold on the hype. Barclays, for example, they're saying, hold on a second. A little cautious. A little bit. They're reminding us that uh, Tesla's, well, they've been known to, you know, over promise in the past. A little ahead of themselves. Yeah. And then maybe not uh, fully deliver. Is that, you know, under promise and over deliver, I think, is what they hope for. Right. But sometimes it's the other way around. Yeah, hype versus reality. It's a tale as old as time. Exactly. And Barclays thinks that, um, you know, we should be prepared for, like, a sell-the-news kind of market reaction. Meaning the stock could dip after the event. Potentially. <laughs> so it's really crucial to look beyond the headlines, you know, and really analyze what Tesla's actual plan is. Like, will their robo-taxi be everywhere or just in certain spots? So are they going big and broad or starting small and focused? Right. Generalized versus localized. And Barclays thinks Tesla's sticking with their usual, you know, aim for the stars approach. Going for the generalized solution. Exactly. A robo-taxi that can handle anything, anywhere, unlike, say, Waymo, who's more about those pre-mapped, you know, geofenced areas. That sounds like a huge task, building a robo-taxi for literally every street corner. Right. So will they team up with any of the big ride-hailing companies like, you know, Uber or Lyft? Barclays doesn't think so. They pointed out that interesting little image Tesla snuck into their first quarter earnings report. You remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I'm starting to remember. Their own ride-hailing app. So they might just cut out the middleman completely. Could be. It's a bold move. Wow. And then, get this, Morgan Stanley jumps in and says they think Tesla's going for a dual approach. Wait, two different services. Okay, now I'm really curious. Tell me more. One would be a dedicated, fully autonomous robo-taxi service, probably featuring this mysterious cyber cab. Okay, makes sense. And the other? The other would be like a supervised autonomous rideshare, you know, using regular Teslas that are already out there, the ones with uh, full self-driving. Oh, right, the FSD. Yeah, exactly. So someone could, like, order a ride from a Tesla owner who's opted into this program. And at the same time, Tesla's rolling out their own fleet of rober taxes. Exactly. Two birds, one stone. That is ambitious. And get this, Morgan Stanley even gave it a name. This potential service, they're calling it Tesla Mobility. Tesla Mobility, it has a ring to it. Like, they're not just a car company anymore. They're like... <laughs> A whole transportation revolution. Right. And that's a big part of what we see from this first part of our deep dive. Totally. Tesla wants to completely change the way we think about transportation. It's not just about the cars anymore. It's about... The bigger picture. Yeah, the big picture. Their master plan. It's bold for sure, but can Tesla actually make it happen? What do the numbers say? Well, if you ask Morgan Stanley, they seem to think Tesla's got this in the bag. They've run the numbers and they're predicting a massive fleet of... Get this, 158,000 robo-taxis by 2030. Whoa, hold on. 158,000. That's a lot of ro robo-taxis. Right. And charging $1.80 per mile, which, by the way, undercuts a lot of the traditional players out there. Oh, for sure. That's cheaper than a lot of taxis and ride-sharing services right now. But, like, how do you even begin to predict something like that? It seems kind of, I don't know. It is super complex. But their model considers things like how dense the population is in certain areas, how many people are actually using ride-hailing services, and, of course, Tesla's own production capacity. But you're right. It's still a prediction, you know? Like trying to guess the winning lottery numbers, kind of? Pretty much. There's so many variables that could change between now and then. Absolutely. But, okay, say they actually get even remotely close to that number of robo-taxes on the road. 
What does that mean financially? Well, Morgan Stanley thinks Tesla Mobility could be worth a cool $62 a share just by 2030. $62 a share. Now, those are some serious numbers. What's driving that kind of valuation? They're factoring in a few things. Obviously, the robo-taxi service itself is huge, but they're also looking at Tesla's regular car sales, which they think will hit $5.4 million a year by 2030. And, get this, they're also assuming Tesla Mobility will be raking in the profits. So they're basically saying Tesla's about to become a money-making machine. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. They're predicting a 13x EBITDA multiple for Tesla Mobility, which means huge profit margins. I mean, it sounds great, but also kind of like, too good to be true, you know? And that's where Barclays chimes in with a little reality check. Oh. They point out that Tesla, while ambitious and all, hasn't actually logged a single mile of fully driverless driving yet. Oh, yeah, right. They're all talk, no track record, so to speak. Exactly. They've got the vision, sure, but can they actually execute it? Mm. Especially when you've got companies like Waymo out there already racking up millions of driverless miles. Right. They're actually out there in the real world dealing with real traffic, real pedestrians. Exactly. Dealing with all those unpredictable things that can happen on the road. So Barclays is basically saying, you know, dreaming big is great, but can you actually pull it off? Yeah, it's one thing to talk about climbing Mount Everest. It's another thing to actually do it. Exactly. And that real world experience, that's what Tesla's missing right now. It's a big hurdle. So while Tesla's busy mapping out their robo-taxi empire, what's Uber doing in all of this? Are they just watching from the sidelines? Not at all. Morgan Stanley points out that Uber's actually been making some strategic moves, quietly embracing electric vehicles on their platform. Oh, yeah. Like what? Well, they logged over 65 million EV trips globally in just the first quarter of this year. Whoa, 65 million. That's a pretty clear sign they're taking EVs seriously. Are they partnering with any specific car makers for that? They do have that deal with Waymo for autonomous driving. So we've got Tesla aiming to revolutionize transportation with robo-taxes and Uber positioning itself strategically for an electric and potentially driverless future. But let's zoom out for a second. What does this mean for the everyday person who just needs to, you know, get to work or grab some groceries? Yeah, like what's the impact going to be on our daily lives? It's a big question. It is a big question. And right now it does kind of feel like we're on the verge of something huge, you know. But are we heading for smooth sailing or a bumpy road? Who knows? Right, because, I mean, there are still a lot of what-ifs here. Mm. Can Tesla deal with all the regulations? Are people actually going to be cool with getting into a car that doesn't have a driver? Yeah, the public perception thing is huge. Totally. And can they even beat companies like Waymo that already have a head start in this whole robo-taxi thing? Yeah, those are the million-dollar questions right there. Tesla's success really hinges on figuring all that out, you know, like navigating those unknowns. Totally. But OK, let's just say, for argument's sake, that Tesla actually pulls it off. What does that world even look like for regular people? Well, for starters, imagine your Tesla's out there making money for you while you're like, you know, at work or even asleep. Oh, interesting. Like a side hustle for your car. Exactly. Or, you know, need to go somewhere. Just order up a driverless taxi, probably for way cheaper than owning a car outright. Cheaper, more efficient. That sounds pretty good to me. But in all this talk about robotaxis and, you know, ride hailing, we can't forget what's really at the core of all of this, AI. Right. And that's what makes Tesla so fascinating. It's not just about building cars. It's about building this whole AI-powered network. So the secret sauce is really the tech behind it all. Yeah. Think about all that data Tesla's been gathering from all those Teslas with the, uh, what is it, Full self-driving. Right, the FSD. Yeah, the FSD. They're using all that real-world driving data to teach their self-driving AI, and it's constantly learning and getting better. It's like they're building a giant brain. Are they the only ones doing this? Other companies are collecting data, too. But Tesla's approach is different. They're not just relying on pre-programmed maps or super expensive sensors. They're, like really leaning into the idea that AI can learn to make decisions on the fly. It's a gamble, for sure. Totally. But a fascinating one. So as we wrap up our deep dive here, what's the one big thing you want our listeners to walk away thinking about? I think the big question is, is Tesla really just a car company? Or are they building something much bigger, something that could change how we live and move? It's about more than just cars at this point. It's about the future of transportation. Well said. Thanks for taking this deep dive with us today. And listeners, until next time, keep those minds curious and stay tuned. 